Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're going to be looking at the screenshot feature built into the iPhone 10. Now this is a feature that we use all the time and sometimes we overlook some of the capabilities of it. So I'm going to be showing you how to take a screenshot and then going through all the editing features that you can use within it. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is take our screenshot and it's very simple you'd simply hold on the power button as well as the volume up rocker. So you just click and hold. And as soon as you do that, it'll take that photo for you. Your screenshot will appear at the bottom. Now, if you don't wanna do anything with it, you can simply just swipe it away like so, and it'll just automatically save to your photos. If you do wanna modify it, there are a lot of features that you can use within it. Simply tap on it, it'll open it up in a larger screen. Now from here we can make our modifications. For starters, the simplest one is the crop here. So you can just simply drag on any one of these blue lines. Let's say we wanted to just grab the thumbnail here. We can do that. And after about a second, it'll crop. I'm just gonna make a few more modifications here. You can bring it back just by bringing it up and down using these little blue sections. And there's our photo now. Additionally, we can tap on any one of these options at the bottom to make extra modifications. For starters, we have our pen. So if we tap on the pen, we can also choose a color right here. So let's say we wanted to make a red section. So let's say we wanted to make a star, we can just simply start drawing and we have our star there. If we tap on the pen, it'll bring us back. The next one is a highlighter. Again, we can choose colors. So let's say we wanted it to be yellow this time. We can then highlight sections like that. If we want to use our pencil, we can do that as well. Let's say we wanted to shade some things in, we'll do some black and we'll start shading a little bit here. The harder you press, the darker it's going to show up. That works for each one of them. And let's say I didn't want that shading there anymore. I can easily tap up top. This is your undo button. If we tap that, it'll undo what you did last. We can do it twice, three times, and you can then even press on redo. And it'll put back what you just did. The next option is an erase button. So if we tap on that one, it's going to act as our eraser. So we can then just start dragging around and it'll erase what we've placed there. Now, obviously we want that. So I'm going to undo and bring it back. Now, the next option is this one. This is sort of like a Laszlo tool, which is going to allow you to sort of cut what you've put in and then kind of move it around. So let's say we wanted to cut this out, move it away. We can select it and we can draw a circle around it and we can move it away like so. So let's say we wanted it right on my face there. Okay, now we can then just tap away and that's where it is now, it's saved in that position. At the bottom right, we have some more editing options. If we tap on the plus, this is going to allow us to do a few more things. Now for this, I'm going to drag this and make it bigger so that we can actually play around with a few more of them. So I'm going to now expand my picture back to where it was I'm gonna tap on plus, and now you can add things like text, signature, magnifiers. So I'll skip text, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna type, you can add text, but if you wanted to add a signature, now this is great if you want to add a signature to say a PDF document that you have on file or anything, you can tap on the signature and then tap add or remove signature. So I'll remove this one here, that's just a random design I had. I'll click on the plus, and this is traditionally how it would open if you didn't have any signatures on file. So all you have to do then is just draw in your signature and then you can tap done at the top and it added the signature in and you can see you can drag it to wherever you want. You can also, you know, make it smaller or larger. So if it, fit, if it doesn't fit, you can then drag it around a little bit. Let's say we wanted it right there. And then again, tapping anywhere else, it'll take away those options to move it around. Tapping the plus again, we have a magnifier option. So if we tap on that, it's going to magnify a specific area that you put this over. So let's say we wanted this to be magnified. You can use the blue dot to expand it a little bit bigger or smaller. And you can even use the green to expand how big what's inside is going to be magnified. Additionally, you can add some borders and colors. So if we wanted to change the color, we want it to be a red border and we wanna change what kind of border, so the strength of that border. So let's make it the max, that's how it's going to look. Now if we tap on plus again, we can add some other options at the bottom, different shapes, you can add little options like this. Again, you can drag these and make them smaller using the blue dots. 
You can make the whole thing bigger using the corners and then the strength or where you want the actual point of that one to be, you can move it with the green. I'm not going to use this one, we'll tap away. I'm just gonna undo it a whole bunch of times just to show you, you can undo using undo as many times as you want. So I just removed that one there and we'll tap on the plus again. You can do the same thing with all of those shapes and we'll take a look at the arrows. Now this is the standard arrow that will appear. You can move it around if you want. You can make it smaller, larger, drag it in anywhere you want. You can modify how it's going to be angled with the green. I'm going to undo that. Or if you tap on the shape option at the bottom here, you can choose from other arrow options as well. For example, that one there. And again, you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. Now lastly, when you're finished, if you're happy with everything here, you can then choose to either share it, which would be the share button here. If we tap on share, it's gonna open up all our traditional share options. You can send it via text message, AirDrop popped up for me there. We can also go across any options at the bottom, for example, sending it to your printer if you have one configured. Or you can tap done, and it's going to give you an option to either delete it. So let's say you shared it with your friend, you sent it off, now you can just simply delete it or you can have it saved to your photos so you can use it later. Simply tap whichever one you want and that's what'll happen. So that's pretty much how you take a screenshot on your iPhone 10 and then use the screenshot customizations built in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. I respond to pretty much every comment that comes my way. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified when I post a new video. And if you wanna be notified on your phone, click that bell icon towards the bottom of the video and that way it'll notify you, will get a little bar at the top whenever the video is posted. Now, a good reason to do that is we are gonna be doing a giveaway on the channel. 100,000 is very close. We're only about two to 3,000 away from that. When we hit that, there'll be a giveaway and I'll be randomly posting it. So if you wanna take part in that, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.